studio next door. Okay. I used to go over there to the studio all the time. They were jamming low. I was like, shit, who is that? Like, that's low. Bro, right there. So I really was a fan. Man. Your partner caught that charge. No commissary, no bail money. And you probably fucking this broad. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Oh. I mean, Scooter Mac, you say he always been like that. Let's, let's tap into you one time. You know, like like when you guys first started uh, uh, PMG, you know, you guys was, how did, just give me a rundown of, 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 of what happened. Tell them how this shit started, bro. Man, shit, I had me a spot. That's how it really started. My partner had the studio next door. Okay. I used to go over there to the studio all the time. They were jamming low. I was like, shit, who is that? Like, that's low. Bro, right there. So I really was a fan. Man, your partner caught that charge. No commissary, no bail money. And you probably fucking this broad. At first. So I asked bro, I like, say, hey, bro, what they doing with your world? Shh. It was kind of a little shake. I said, shh. Come on, shit. I put that bread behind you, baby. Let's go. Is you, so you seen it in him? And you yes, went, sir. You didn't mind putting the, putting no. the bread up to try yes, to support anybody. where he had going? Yes, sir. That's love. Facts. So so how was that for you, like making that, that initial step to say, I'm gonna work with Scooter Mac and not that you you guys didn't know did y'all know each other before? No, we didn't know each other. So what did you think when he came at you about that? Well, you know, I was seeing him a couple of times, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't just the first time. It was like, you know what I'm saying, a few times, you know what I'm saying? And then he just come come back like, God damn, this shit jamming, this shit jamming, bro. What the fuck you, what are we doing? So shit, I had already had PMG as a model. You know what I'm saying? In my head, and it was going because I couldn't get signed by nobody. I was starting my own label. Damn. And then shit, that nigga just came by, and we just, you know what I'm saying? Started the shit, and he put the, put the bread up, so we he became co partners with me. So PMG started. What year was that? About oh four. Oh four. Oh, four? Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. Damn. This family, bro. Yeah. <laughs> nah, yeah. This and PMG, no... what what does it stand for? Give it to me. When we initially started out, it was Profit Money Getters. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, ever since, you know what I'm saying? I say probably by 2015, 16, we kind of went a little bit more corporate with it and made it Profit Music Group. Yeah. That's that's dope. That's dope. Mm -hmm. So, and and so you guys start this this label. You didn't know how to start no label. Well, how did you, 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 you treading in a dark place. See, I'm, I'm interviewing now, Bo Dago. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm interviewing yeah, him now. You, you know that? Yeah. So you going into a place where you have never been before, right? Yeah. So how do you say, okay, I'm gonna do this label? And this was a time when being independent just wasn't that popular. I was looking at, you know, I was, I was looking at labels that was already here, like the rap a lot. At night I can't sleep. I toss and turn candlesticks in the dark. Visions of bodies. The suave house. Get in, we going with the wind like Clark Gable. It's dark, but I'm able to see because Mister is a Jesus. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, we had people in the city doing independent things. You had R.I.P. Uh, 24K. You know okay. what I'm saying? He had real to real records. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, uh, my partner from, I can't say my partner, he, OG from the hood, said Buster had, had got with this guy named Thurman Patterson, and they started Eternal Life Records, which Gator, put out Gator Man's first. Man. Album. I don't walk the block until my feet hurt the slack. The better off a work, I took the good with the bad. That's my nigga, man. So, you know, it was just, I, was, I was studying, just studying the people around me, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and found out what I need to do. And, you know, shit, me and Scooter got together. We went and got the, the DBAs and the LLCs. And, you know, shit. Just went in from there, you know, like 04, 05. 04, 05, and that's crazy, man. Like, 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 and when he yeah. did it, he come back to you because you the, you, the, you the entrepreneur around here. You running things from that angle. You like, okay, nigga, how much you said he? It went hand in hand. Yeah. <laughs> so y'all was together like, listen, yes, sir. we got to get this, we got to get that. You would tell him, hey, we got to get this, or hey. he may come up with something. But did you call, reach out to any other, other label owners just to try to get an understanding, or did you have anybody that you could? We had a whole bunch of trial and error. That's what I thought. Early on. You know and, and then, like I say, this the CD era. You know, yeah. it's not it's not the streaming era. So you had to, we was dealing with Nielsen Stone Scan. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then you know, shit, we was doing a lot of underground projects the way we just selling them hoes out the trunk. Did you did you ever link in with Cap the Bomb? Or George Lopez, George Lopez yeah. Diamond D. Y'all yeah. yeah. were pushing through yeah. them niggas. Y'all y'all knew the channel because you got niggas coming from out of town Same. going to these niggas too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly. why everybody circling that. We just didn't wait on that neither too though. We went we went in the streets. Of course. Of course. That was that was exactly. I was I treated the shit like a job. 
And we had our, everybody, our young niggas, we, they had them out, we had them out there. So wow. early. Early. You had to pay them too, though. Yeah, they got to go out there for nothing, nigga. They had their own projects. They got paid out yeah. their own projects. So wow. they pushing their shit. Yeah. They who who the hardest nigga to go out there and market for you back in the day? Get that nigga shout out. Big boy. <laughs> yes, Big sir. Boy. Shout out my boy, Big boy. Man, that history, man, PMG, man. But I got to put Young Kobe in there too, young though. Oh, he was bad. Yes, sir. Yeah, Young Kobe was yes, in there too. He was, he was a bad yes, motherfucker sir. on selling them CDs. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.